Storm phobia is most often seen in dogs, but all animals can suffer from it. When severe storms are approaching, your animal may or may not shake, hide, pace about, and just act very nervous. Storm phobia is most common in dogs, but it can be seen in all types of animals. Many show fear and anxiety when severe storms are near. They can be afraid of loud noises, rushes of heavy wind, flashes of light, and even sense the sag from electricity in the atmosphere, oftentimes before the owner can recognize the pending storm. In mild forms, pets may bark, pace, pant excessively, stick near their owners, or hide under beds, sofas, or in closets. In extreme cases, pets may claw walls, chew carpets and furniture, and destroy kennels or other items. There are several ways you can help your animal deal with these fears. One way is playing nice, quiet music while the storm is coming, approaching. Another way is to purchase a thunder shirt, which helps them feel more secure. And also talk to your veterinarian about medications they can help you with. This fear will likely not go away on its own, so owners must seek to help their pet. Owners should start by rewarding good, calm behavior year-round to establish a common routine. In times of calm weather, you can also help to desensitize the animal to storm-related noises by playing a CD with thunder recordings. Give the animal a distraction with a favorite toy or treat when he or she is calm. You can also play calming music to drown outside noises. Provide an open crate, a quiet place or other area to shelter your pet during the storm. But do not confine him or her to that area. Allow the dog the ability to move freely as desired. Consider a thunder shirt or other snug fitting shirt or wrap that will help to swallow the animal and create calmness. Talk with a veterinarian about other behavior suggestions or other medications in extreme stress. There are several things you can do to help your pets when the warning sirens go off. One is to follow your family disaster plan. And secondly, make sure you shelter in place for tornadoes and severe storms and go to the basement or your secure location for, for safety. Warning sirens and other alerts are designed to allow you time to seek protection from a severe event. Follow your family disaster plan, your readying a three response kit, create a plan, make a kit, listen for information, and seek areas of shelter appropriate for the storm. Sheltering in a safe spot for thunderstorms and tornadoes or evacuating to other locations in flood, for example. Sometimes when severe storms occur, your animal may get lost or wander away from home because it's scared. One of the ways to combat this is to get a permanent identification implant in your dog called a microchip. It gives off a radio frequency that a scanner will pick up and link it back to the owner where we can look up in a database and find out who the owner is. Please make sure to remember to update all your information at your microchip company and animal control to make sure we can get a hold of you if a disaster occurs. Besides spring storms, there are several other things to worry about in the spring, including making sure your animals on proper flea and tick preventative as the pests start coming out with the warmer weather. Secondly, most people are fertilizing their yard and treating the yard for pests. So make sure your animal is not walking through a yard that's newly treated. And lastly, Make sure to watch out for wildlife as they're starting to come out more with the warm weather too. Remember that animals may not be in the same physical shape after winter's rest, so go slow in starting an exercise routine with your dog. Insects can spread diseases to animals, so continue heart medications, flea and tick treatments, and check for insects whenever the animal returns from the outdoors. Beware of heat cycles that may cause your animal to roam or change behavior if they're unaltered. Beware of wildlife that is emerging from winter protection and may also be in heat. Be aware that animals may come in contact or eat or drink pesticides, insecticides, spring clean materials, and other chemicals. Be sure to put these materials in a safe location to avoid interactions.